being a trainer and having a starter in the Kentucky Derby was beyond my dreams. Goodness, Tim Yakteen not on the radar of everyone. Now he can go to the Kentucky Derby. It, it really didn't sink in right away. He's never really shared the goal of wanting to win the Kentucky Derby because I feel like we've always just been a little too far away from that goal becoming realistic. I can't imagine Tim loving doing anything other than training horses. Tim Yachtin didn't always have that passion. In fact, the horse racing industry was never intended to be part of the plan at all. I grew up in Germany, then moved to America July 4th, 1982. My parents felt that um, America would give me more opportunity than what Germany might have to offer me. Yachtin's parents may have sent their 18-year-old son to the US to advance his education. But after a night at Los Alamitos Racetrack in California, Tim had another idea. The energy was crazy. I just loved it. And from that point on, I knew the direction I wanted to take. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. My first taste, I was standing right up there. Yeah. I didn't have any connection in horse racing prior to coming to Los Alamitos and I got my mom on the phone. I said, Mom, I'm going to start working in the barns. I want to make a career of this. She said, you're going to make a career of shoveling horse droppings. And not necessarily in those words. What kind of career is that? That's no career. It's been nearly 40 years since he arrived in America on the 4th of July. And now, after a lot of hard work and a little luck, Yachtin is at the center of one of this country's greatest sporting traditions. 18-year-old Tim would say, wow, <laughs> you have come a long way. This is not what I thought you were going to be doing. The Kentucky Derby, it's America's race. It is the land of opportunity. And if you have a few breaks in life and you're willing to work, you can achieve your dreams. I can attest to that because I think I'm getting close to one of my dreams 